Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bone of by beer night So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Doing a really special beer tonight. This was sent to me from Ryan, better known as Dumpy Joe Jr. Thanks, Ryan, for the beer. This is Russian River's Redemption Blonde Ale. And it says re-fermented in this bottle. I've been hanging on to this thing for like, what, two months now? Um, if we look at the back here, it's a very long description, but basically this said this is the, 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 the Belgian single, like the West Mall Extra, or the West Flutter and Blonde, or the Chimay Doré, so it's going to be in that style. And it's cool, it's a, it has batch number on here, I can't tell if that's a 3 or an 8. What's really interesting about this bottle is it's a 12 ounce bottle, and it's got a cork and cage on it, I've never seen that before. So that's really cool. Only 5.15% ABV. The cork is slippery, so I can use a grip thing here. It even says, like, drink it out of a tulip glass, not a tumbler. But since they're going for a Trappist style, I'm just going to use my Chimay Trappist chalice here. Alrighty. So we have a pretty Mostly clear, I got a little bit of yeast in there. Super effervescent beer, that is just tons and tons of bubbles in there, much like a Trappist beer. Um, you know, they got the gold part down, or the blonde part down. Not much of a head on there, it's just kind of a thin, white soapy coating. It smells like, it does smell like the three Trappist blondes that I've had. Uh, got a little bit of those green fruits in there. White grape especially. Some spice in there too. Kind of smells like a Hefeweizen without the wheat. So let's give it a taste. Wow. That is as close as I've come to an American Trappist beer. Like the moment it hit my lips. It was all the spicy, peppery notes, just like you get in a Shime or a West Mall or West Flatterin or whatever. Uh, super peppery. It's kind of like, it, it's a little thicker than the three Trappist Blondes that I've had. Finishes with like a slight ba black pepper kind of dryness. Um, not, not as fruity. As the Trappist beers. This is more of like a, for lack of a better word, generic American blonde ale. Um, you're getting like kind of a hop spice in there, kind of like what you would get with a Pilsner. So it's kind of like that Pilsner, like a higher quality Pilsner with the Trappist yeast kind of flavor going on. This is a beer that tastes like beer, but um, yeah, this is really good. So far, I'm really liking it. And I'm really impressed by how close they came to emulating uh, a Trappist style. Uh, I'm just going to sip on this for a little while and we'll come back with the final thoughts. Cheers. Alright, final thoughts for the Russian River Redemption. Uh, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. It's a good beer. Uh, it, it's quite, it's different, but at the same time it's similar to the, the three Trappist singles that I've had. The difference on this one is that there's a, like, noticeable tobacco kind of thing going on there. I think it might be clove, and I don't know if they add clove to this, or it's a it's a similar kind of clove taste you get in like a, a, a German Hefeweizen like Weinstefan or Schneiderweiss, something like that. It's like, but it's like very, very noticeable. It's probably from the yeast. Um, drinkability on this beer is a little low. And it, proportionally speaking, because, you know, it's such a fairly small beer, it's, it's like so effervescent, and it's so peppery, 
like it's you know it's not like it's a ref it's definitely not refreshing it's tasty but it's not like refreshing or thirst quenching yeah but I mean it tastes good um, that uh, that kind of tobacco kind of thing gets like a little bit annoying if you're a smoker you probably like this a little bit more but um, yeah it's a good beer overall so that's why I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. So that does it for this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Thanks again to Ryan for sending this beer to me. Still got one more beer to go. And uh, that does it for this episode. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.